Real music, real interviews, real information. That's why we call it Real Gospel with the X-Men. X-Man, and what do you do when you think that God is done with you? Well, first and foremost, God can never be done with you, or at least those of us who believe in his Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He can always use you. Now, in just a second, I'm going to speak with Khalil Moss and Noel Jordan. They're going to represent the Revival Culture Church, and that song features Michael Bethany. The song is called He's Not Done. And it is my prayer that after this song and after this interview, you'll realize that God is not done with you. Yeah. Turn your radios up. My name is the X-Man and this is Real Gospel. First, he feels my cup running over and over again and again, and it just doesn't stop. I can't keep up, something better every time I turn. Come on, see, he is so much more. Say, I'm receiving. Come on, 
you sing it something bigger. It's not the end of your story. Say up. Real Gospel is the place where God gets the glory and artists tell their stories. I am honored to be joined by these two anointed men of God, Khalil Moss and Noel Jordan. They represent the Revival Culture Church, and that song is called He's Not Done. Welcome to Real Gospel, my friends. It's great to be here. It's Noel Gordon here. Khalil, nice to be here, X. Yes, yes, yes. So uh, tell the listeners just a little bit about yourselves and um, how you represent this project, by the way. I'm Noel. I'm one of the BGVs on this project. So um, X, I, I write some of the songs with Apostle, and um, I've been connected to Revival Culture for about three and a half years. Amen. So talk to us about Revival Culture. Uh, uh, you know, give us some, some insight for the listeners who are not familiar with the Revival Culture Church. Where were you located? Uh, give us a little history and then your role and how you came to be in uh, and leadership there. That's amazing. So Revival Culture Church, the a ministry that was started by Apostle Johnson and Prophet Amanda, were based in Dallas, Texas, with the ultimate goal of recovering, awaken, uh, awakening, building, and, and leaving a legacy. Um, so it's sort of the vision of the house is really to, to model the love, the leadership, the impact, and the power of the original church in today's world, um, as seen in the book of Acts. Amen, amen. Uh, continue to unpack that. I mean, because, you know, a lot of our listeners, they're, they're from different reformations. And so I just happen to have you know, been in church a little while, so I understand the apostleship, and I understand it means different things to different people. But to that which you are explaining it in terms of the old church or the original church, um, if if you are able, if you would like to, if you would unpack that to the listeners, just so they get an understanding of what that means. So, in the original church, the Acts Church, it's it's really demonstrating the supernatural power of God. Um, right now, of course, you know, it's, it's, it's great to gather. It's great to, to worship. But how are we seeing the demonstrated, uh, the demonstrated power of God in people's lives? Um, just to give you an example, you know, it's one thing, you know, our focus is Jesus. And we've observed um, eight resurrections now to date. Um, and we have experienced really the, the supernatural power of God in, in many ways, supernatural healings, and also in finances. Um, even in the midst of the pandemic, when, you know, this song was uh, written, you know, we had five millionaires that have been birthed um, out of this ministry and, you know, countless number of high six figure earners um, in the middle uh, of the pandemic. So, you know, God is still God is still working. He's still blessing um, and he's not done. Amen. He's not done. And so when you talk about Let's let's unpack that for the list. God is just doing something right now, you know. So let's unpack the supernatural because, again, I've been in church uh, just just to get a quick, quick, quick synopsis about me. So from second grade to ninth grade, I went to Catholic school, uh, and I, I spent the summers with my grandparents in North Carolina who were Pentecostal, and I went to a Baptist church on Sunday mornings. So. I got a little bit of everything. And so when you talk about supernatural, I understand what supernatural, what, what you're referring to. But amid, there are many ministries. And this is no knock on you all. Don't you all get mad at me. Uh, but there are many ministries who just basically they may just preach. But there's no manifestation in terms of the supernatural anointing or power of God to be demonstrated for the people in terms of what you refer to as the original church. And we're going to talk about this CD project, I promise you guys. But I think we're, we're just trying to bless people along the way so they understand um, they see God in this project. And they see, like again, um, this is Real Gospel is a place where God gets the glory and artists tell their stories. So tell this story, you all. It's the supernatural. When you think of uh, Elijah in the Bible. He was a man, but he prayed. So that's really the distinction there. It's about having the super on our natural. 
So when we have the supernatural power of God, that's what we're emphasizing here. And, you know, of course, you know that it's, 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 the word supernatural may not be in the Bible, but there's, there's no supernatural that's not in the Bible. And the Bible is still supernatural. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. Wonders, signs, miracles, healings, all these things are what we refer to as a supernatural move of God. Okay, let's shift gears. And, and, and yes, let's just clarify, go ahead. Sure. I want to I clarify something there sure. as well. Because when, you know, when we talk about the supernatural, it, it, it actually is in the Bible, in the original language. So that's one thing that we have to make the distinction regarding, that it is actually in the Bible, in the original language. But however, the primary point is that it's all about having the super on our natural Hey man, I like that. The super that sounds like a song title right there. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> so this song, which is called "He's Not Done," let's talk about this song. Let's talk about this awesome project that you that you guys are representing right now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So "He's Not Done." It was actually um, written uh, during the pandemic. It was a song um, that God gave Apostle Jonathan, and then he. Uh, uh, wrote everything except the second verse, passed it on to Khalil Moss, who I have here, who can speak, speak to that. He wrote the second verse there. But again, it was uh, written during the pandemic, during a time where you know, there was a lot of fear in the land and apparent distress in society. But the message behind it is that, hey, you know, God is not done. He's not done blessing us. There's, it's not our last, our last testimony isn't our last testimony. There's always more to come. I'm, I'm passing pass it over to Khalil Moss to, to speak a little bit more to that. Yeah, and looking at that second verse, uh, one of my favorite lines from there, it says that this, oh my, yeah, my, uh, one of the, the things it says is that um, it doesn't stop. God's goodness doesn't stop. I can't keep up. And um, every time I turn around, he's blowing my mind. Um, that's pulled from Amos 9, where it talks about, you know, blessings are going to come so fast that your head is going to swim. And at the time, you know, 2021, when the song was written, um, the world was talking about, you know, it's over. Where's the Antichrist? Um, God's not moving anymore. But all the while, you have a people um, and a revival culture who, you know, is like a Goshen. Um, so no matter what's going on in the land, no matter what wars or rumors of wars are happening, God's still moving and he's still good. So that's what our, our resolve is. Amen. And I like how you broke that down. I like how you incorporated scripture and to explain a lot of where um, God has led you all within this project. Now, who is uh, Michael Bethany? So Michael Bethany, he's the worship leader at uh, Gateway Gateway Church. It's uh, somewhere in Dallas. He's an amazing, uh, amazing worship leader. We were glad to have him on song with us. And um, he's, you know, written for some notable artists and traveled with them as well. So. Yeah, Michael's like family. Amen, amen. He did an out. You all did an outstanding job with this project. I mean, it's just, it is just. When I say awesome, I, I mean it's awesome. So, the Sound of Revival Culture Volume Three, which is available on all digital platforms right now. What more can we expect from this project? Because just listening to you guys makes me want to just turn everything off put this project on and just let it play and just allow the atmosphere to be saturated with the Holy Spirit. You know what I mean? Just sort of just get in the presence because I just, it just, I can just tell that the entire project has this type of anointing. So uh, what can we expect from this project? Oh, well, that's amazing. We may have to use some of that language on the road as well as we're, we're continuing to, to spread this song there. Heck. So the thing is that, you know, with this project, it's, it's really, um, it, it was birthed uh, in spontaneous moment. So it's uh, really all encompassing when it comes to really em uh, sort of emphasizing the sound of heaven, right? The sign sound of revival. And this is also not just uh, the only project. Of course, so Sound of Revival Culture Volume 3, there were two projects preceding, uh, preceding this. Sound of Revival Culture Volume 1 and 2, and there's another one, Volume 4, coming out in the summer. But this is, um, listen, this is a song that's for the people, people who are hungry, people who are looking for a sound that has presence, and it's just great to listen to as well. You know, it's not absence of ex excellence in musicality. Um, I think everything that you're saying is, is, is super essential to really what makes this album what it is. Amen, amen. Um, now, who was that? Was that, was that uh, Khalil or was that Noel? This is Noel. Okay. Well, Khalil, what are your thoughts? Well, the sound of revival culture, there's nothing like it. And um, one thing Apostle has said, so many times before is that 
is that the sound of heaven, it's not boring. Like worship isn't boring. The worship in heaven, the worship that happens around the throne of God, it's electric, it's colorful, it's alive. And um, that's the sound of revival. That's the sound that's brought about millionaires and financial increase and uh, wholeness of families and, you know, so many other things, resurrections. Um, it's, it's that kind of sound. So. Uh, we're just grateful to be a part of it. Amen. So uh, what what do you hope the listeners will get from, you know, listening to this this project? And, you know, when they when they finish listening to the project from from beginning to end and they decide they want to go ahead and, and grab all the other <laughs> volumes because this one was just the one they were looking for. Uh, what what should they gain from it? If they're listening right now, what, what should they hope to gain from listening to this? I already know from talking to you all and from listening to that song what I've gained from it. So what, what should they gain from it? Well, what we want people to gain from it is hope. Um, we want them to experience uh, a heightened expectancy for the good things that God is already doing in the earth. Um, the fact that, you know, he's not he's not a God who's far away. He's actually at hand. He's, he's near. Um, that's what the Bible says. And that's just what we believe. You know, we want... Um, to, we want people to see that, you know, there's a song for every season. And um, it's amazing what a song can do to a hope of a nation. Um, it can help people believe God again. You know, you see that when the Israelites were in captivity and, um, you know, they hung up their hearts. They stopped worshiping. But but they just kept going because they knew that God is good. And if they just kept singing that he's going he's gonna to answer their cry. Amen. Amen. And we, we, we only have a couple of minutes left, but you touched on something that I found to be very significant. And that is music. Music being able to destroy the enemy. Music being able to give people hope. Music being able to, you know, lend a supernatural hand in a time of need. Can y'all talk about that as we close up? So music is a, is a universal language. Um, we replaced the devil. So, you know, he once was the music when he was in heaven, but now we've taken that rightful place as sons and daughters of God. So, you know, we give him a sound that's creative, that properly um, depicts who he is. And it's not absence of creativity or present. Amen. I like that. I like that. All right. I'm going to let you two get the last word. If you can give a quick shout out to your church and also a quick shout out to the uh, apostle, uh, Jonathan Ferguson, and also uh, the prophet. Uh, I guess that's the first lady, right? Uh, Amanda Ferguson. Talk to us about them as we close up where the service times are and how people can um, find out where you all are in this project. That's amazing. Is there a shout out to Revival Culture Church. So you can find us on revivalculturenow.com uh, and learn more about our leaders, Apostle Jonathan and Prophet Amanda. You can follow Apostle Jonathan on Instagram at Mr. Jonathan Ferguson and also Prophet Amanda at Mrs. Amanda Ferguson. Again, these are visionaries who are building disciples and leaders uh, in the earth for God's glory. So we're very, very excited. Check us out. Amen. Amen. Any other information you all want to share with the listeners? They need to be able to find everything. What about they, so they can find the project uh, where again? You can find it on all digital outlets, Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, all of the above and more, uh, including Amazon Music. So check it out online and you'll see our music there. And again, we have another project coming out down to Revival Culture. Man, y'all cranking them out. So, um, uh, yes, go ahead. Go ahead. X, so X, just ahead. So that's going to be our eighth album total. Wow. Um, so we're really excited about what's coming next. Wow. I'm excited for you all. Give a quick shout out to your spouses if you're married. Go ahead and do that real quick before we wrap up. So this is Khalil here. I want to make a special shout out to my wife, Jada Savannah Moss. Love you much. All right. Well, that and be I'm it. not married yet. Uh, okay. <laughs> all right. He's not married yet, y'all. So the one and only Khalil Moss and the one and only Noel Jordan, they get the last word. My brothers, thank you for spending time with us on Real Gospel. Thanks for having us, Eck. Thanks, Eck. You're listening to Real Gospel with the X-Men. And the real flashback song of the hour is on the way. If you have diabetes and you're on Medicare, you may qualify for a free continuous glucose monitor system. Managing your diabetes is crucial to your health. The new CGM systems can automatically manage your diabetes better for you. And by using a CGM system, you can eliminate forever one thing most people with diabetes hate the most, finger sticks. Now it's possible to manage your diabetes better, end the painful finger sticks, and get a new CGM monitoring system at little or no cost to you. We even provide in-home delivery and do all the insurance paperwork for you. Now is the best time to manage your diabetes better and get your continuous glucose monitor. Call now for details. 800-396-0150 800-396-0150 
That's 800-396-0150.